Praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. 
we have a in-house speaker for today. This man of God is coming to bring the word on today. A lot of you know him as Quentin Entertain. But I know him as the preacher. I thank God for my son. He is a humble person. We don't let up on them. We don't play with you. We hard on them for a reason because we understand what God is taking his ministry. We understand that he's going to nations. We understand about the call of God on his life. He's been presented as body of living sacrifice. And so, without further ado, we're going to ask uh, Quentin. Big Randy, stand to your feet. Hallelujah, stand to your feet. There's one more song we need to sing before the speaker comes. Uh, what was the name of that song this morning, Elder Jenkins? Old school. He was playing. I don't know if it was because of who you are or um, it's old school. I hadn't heard that in a long time. I was playing it this morning. Hallelujah, oh, Lord Jesus. He, while he get his props ready, somebody help him get his props ready. Hallelujah. Slide it on down so you can see it. Come on down, son. You're familiar with some of our ministry here? We have. Uh, illustrated sermons here. <laughs> and, um, this is one of his props. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, go. Come on, sing this last song. And after she sings this song, the next voice you will hear is that of our speaker. I introduce the song and presents the song to others. None other than prophet, evangelist. Lord, have mercy, Quentin Dequan Brown. We receive him right after this song.
put your hands together for Minister Quentin Brown. Yeah. Glory be to the name of God. Glory be to the name of God. Because of you, I give you worship. Because of you, I give you praise. Amen. Amen. I, I want to first give God all praise. <laughs> I want to give him all the praise, the honor, and the glory on today. And uh, and to all uh, my leaders in the house, Pastor Kim Murphy, uh, Pastor Harold Murphy, I want to give him praise. Uh, and to um, Elder Jenkins and Ben's Kai and Ben's Nay in the house, Ben's China. Everybody that's in the house, they will respect the places. God bless you. Amen. On today. And uh, I want to, let's get to some prayer. <laughs> Amen. God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, uh, for the service that you have given us on today. In the name of Jesus Christ. And God, I ask you that God, uh, I decrease today. And God, I, I repent from everything that I did. God, uh, plead my hands. Any, any, any um, sin or dirty things that's on my hand, clean my hands, God. Do not allow me to hinder somebody from being delivered, saved, and set free on today. Um, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 But I, I do want to, uh, something special. I got a little couple props up here. But it, it's going to all make sense on today. Uh, I was going off of something else. I was going to talk about something else, but I guess it deterred as I was <laughs> over there. <laughs> uh, There's a reason why uh, Pastor Kim told me to go over there. I like that spot. It was, I love it. You can hear a lot over there. Um, so what I got right here, I'm glad we were talking about um, the comfort. But um, my title today is Get On The Art. Subtitle is the door is about to shut. Ooh, my goodness. Y'all better get on that door. Amen. On today, we need to know that um, as of, oh, oh gosh, hold on. I'm going to turn to Matthew 24 before I get to Genesis 6. I'm going to turn to Matthew 24. Amen. How many of us, I know Pastor Kim, she was saying it earlier, how many of us know we in the last days? We in the last days. Tell your neighbor, get yourself in, get your house in order, get yourself in order. Because <laughs> we're in the last days. Amen. Matthew 24, and I'm going to start with the 37th chapter. I mean, the uh, 37th verse, sorry. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. It says, for as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Married and given in marriage until the day that the Noah entered the ark. Mm -hmm. It says right here, says right here, and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the Son of Man be. We're going to go, it's going to make some sense. We're going to go to Matthew 6 for a look, and we're going to go to the 13th verse. Amen. 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 So we're going to start from the 13th verse. Uh oh. Uh, no, you know what? Hmm. We're going to start from the first verse. It says, Now it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born to them that the sons of God saw the daughters of man that they were beautiful and they took wives for themselves of all whom they choose it says and the Lord said my spirit shall not strive with man forever for he is indeed flesh yet his days shall be 120 years God don't like flesh Say to yourself, put your flesh together. <laughs> Get your flesh together. It says, verse 4 says, There were giants on the earth in those days. And also afterward, when the sons of God came in the, 
into the daughters of man, and they bore children to them. Those were the mighty men who were old men of renown. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. You gotta understand that these times, wickedness was in the face of the earth. And uh, we we about to get to the point where, you know, where God, uh, where God had repented. He repented in making man, you know. And uh, let's let's continue keep going. It says, verse six says, and the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth, and he was grieved in his heart. And it says, so the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created. From the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping things, and birds of the air. For I am sorry that I have made them. It says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. He found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Do you believe that God found grace in you? How many y'all? How many y'all know that God has found grace in you? Yes. And that's the reason why He didn't destroy man because of you. Come on, chosen vessels. One of chosen vessels in the house. It said, verse 9 says, This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generation. Noah walked with God, and Noah begot three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with violence. I know this is familiar. Ain't that what we're going through right now? Gun violence, fighting, Killing each other, uh -huh. killing ourselves. Uh -huh. You know, you got uh, the son killing the mother, and uh, the, the son killing the, the the own sisters. Violence. You go on the news, and you look on the news channel, two news, or any news station you watch, violence. But it says right here. So God looked upon the earth, and indeed it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. And it says right here, And God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. It says, Make yourself, it goes a blueprint right here, Make yourself an ark of gopher wood. Make rooms in the ark, and cover it inside, and outside with pitch. And this is how you shall make it. The length of the ark shall be 300 cubits. It's width 50 cubits and its height 30 cubits. It says, you shall make a window for the ark and you shall finish it to a cubit from above. And set the door of the ark in, it, in its side. You shall make it with lower second and third decks. And behold, I myself am bringing flood waters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. So tell you, everybody, you can tell yourself, uh, tell, tell everybody around you, God ain't playing no games. <laughs> oh my God, it says right here, it's getting good to me. It says, but I will establish my covenant with you. What? Pastor Kanye, I'm establishing my covenant with you. Elder Jenkins, I'm going to establish my covenant with you. Uh -huh. Pastor Kim, I'm establishing my covenant with you. Uh -huh. With me, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. It says right here. Uh, uh, let's see, I lost my spot. <laughs> it says, and you shall go into the ark, you, your sons, your wife, and your son's wives with you. And it says, and of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every sort into the ark to keep them alive. With you, they shall be male and female. Come on. Oh, so I need to get two, two, two boy uh, birds. Okay. I need to go get, I guess I got to get two female cows. No, uh, that's what the word, it, it said, it didn't say it up here, it didn't say that. I gotta make sure. Oh, it, said, it, said, it says, 
Male and female. Male and female. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and it said right here, 27, of the birds after their kind of animal, after their kind and of every creeping thing of earth, after its kind, two of every kind will come to you to keep them alive. You understand, when it's two of the opposite sex, just know it's going to come alive. <laughs> you can't make you can't make two you can't make two of the same parts come alive. Come on, somebody. <laughs> come on, somebody. Come on. <laughs> it says, "Thus Noah did according to all that God commanded him." So he did. So Noah, what Noah did was he he went ahead. And he just was like, you know what? Uh, okay, well, God, uh, I guess I'm going to follow your will. See, God was just type, I mean, no, was the type of person. He just, everything God said, he just did. He just did it, just went with it. But, you know, uh, sometimes we have that point where uh, I need a, uh, uh, I need a, uh, uh, a volunteer uh, to come up because in these times, you got to know that uh -oh. Noah was laughing. I mean, I mean, not know what was happening. The people around Noah was laughing at him. He was just going by God's blueprints. You know what I'm saying? Going by everything. He was just saying everything. And um, act like you write something down, um, Z. Act like you write something down. You write something down, and I need another volunteer, somebody to laugh at him. You know, you know, they're laughing. But he's still, but he's still going. He's still building. See, sometimes you gotta understand you can be a fool when you're doing things for God. Yeah, come on, finish Because Christ. because they in the flesh, they don't understand what's going on in the spirit. Yeah. But after the process, that's when everybody wanna come around and you know and say, Wow, I should have just listened to you. So after okay, see the, the ark is already built. You got the ark built already. Build that ark. We could have come back to that right here. We could go back to it. But I wanna go, I wanna go to to uh, Luke 13, 3 through 5. Come on, go to Luke. What is that? <laughs> Let me see what the word of God said, because I know it says likewise. Okay. Luke 13, 3. It says, I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And it says, are those 18 of whom the tower and Saul fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in the Jerusalem? I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will likewise perish. So what is this, so what is you getting at, uh, what did you talk about Bill's Q on today? What I'm saying on today is that you know, it's, it's time for you to get on the boat. It's time for you to get on the boat quickly. Even the ones that was laughing and everything, hey, you know, the boat is available to those that's listening. Uh -huh. But, you know what I'm saying, but if you in the flesh, I don't know about you, but <laughs> I got the clear structure. I'm writing a blueprint down. I'm getting on this boat. Yeah. I'm getting on the ark. Come on. Before the door's shut. Mm -hmm. Too late. But I got some questions. Is it because your age, you you have, um, you know, you're like, well, I want to, God gave me this blueprint, but I don't know because I'm of my young. age. I'm, I'm young, I don't, I don't think I'm able to do the blueprint for God, and, you know, and they laughing at me. I'm too old to get on that boat. <laughs> they laughing, and, and they like, wow. Mm -mm. But I'm going to go to 2 Timothy 4 and 12 real quick. For those that's out there in the Facebook world, those that's in the house or something, and let you know that, I'm going to go right back to that. But I'm going to turn to 2 Timothy. Matter of fact, somebody pull up, I mean, I'm sorry, 1 Timothy 4 and 12. Somebody pull up 1 Timothy 4 and 12 for me. Hey. Amen. Verse 54, 12. Let no man, no man, despise thy youth. Despise thy youth. Be thy example of the 
believers. Mm -hmm. yes. In word, in mm -hmm. conversation, mm -hmm. in charity, mm -hmm. in spirit, mm -hmm. in faith, mm -hmm. in purity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That means that being said, you know, you know they even though at those times they would despise Noah because he looked like a fool. Nowadays, let's get into today's world. People are laughing at you because you know what I'm saying you you doing something that's out the ordinary that God told you to do, but they laugh. Uh -huh. You too young to be doing that. Uh -huh. You too young to be you know building your business from the ground up. Come on. Come on up you too young to be preaching, ministering the word of God, and building your own church. You too young to go for your real estate. Come on, come on. You too young. But God said, do not despise. Don't let nobody despise on your, um, your youth. Mm -hmm. You ain't never too young. You can be some real age and, and, and build. And God can give you that blueprint to build on, <laughs> on paper for the future. Oh. Is it because of your gender? Mm -hmm. Let's turn to Joel 2, 28 to 29. Come on. What Joel 2, 28 to 29 say? And it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. Convicted uh, during this week because uh, I was I did a uh, certain <laughs> I was uh, I was you know I was in a place where I lost my job <laughs> Come on. and I need some money <laughs> so what I did was I said I see someone online seventy dollars an hour and I went to work at the hundred house but as I was there I was like oh my god it felt like it just felt like my whole building was all hot everything around me was hot. And then it was just like, you know what I'm saying? I just kept hearing, you shouldn't be here. I'm like, okay, I'm ignoring it. You know, I'm pushing the button. So I'm pushing the button. <laughs> but then afterwards, I was crying in the car. I was like, oh, no, no, no. I was over there. I said, oh, no, I'm going to do this. I said, is this $70 worth me going to hell? <laughs> it was the conviction. You know, so I was over there. I was like, well, somebody like me being in here, and, and I didn't know that God could talk to you crazy. I was here. Your holy, your holy save itself. He said in the country, country. I'm like, why he country? You know what I'm saying? Your holy, holy, <laughs> holy Roman self is up in the um in the hundred house. Oh, he's trying to scare people for some seventy dollars for some silver gold. <laughs> I haven't heard that before. I know that was scripture though. I was like, I gotta find that scripture. <laughs> but, <laughs> but amen. I, what I did was, I said, no, I'm getting away from it. They was like, wow, you, you, you're a natural actor. And this and that too. You don't even realize, yeah, I'm, I'm an actor, but they ain't what, you know, they ain't my position. I ain't supposed to be here. But amen. <laughs> amen. But you have to understand that. In these these days and times, you have to know that God is using male and female to give the blueprint to. He's giving the blueprint to anybody. It was the other day that uh, Pastor Kim preached on building on crumbs. You know, but God is giving you the blueprint to build on crumbs. That's it. So you know, even though some people may look at it as you building on rich crackers and saltine crackers. But God, help, but God make you work and say, here goes some peanut butter and jelly, put it together. Come on. You better build it. Yeah. You better build on crumbs. Because the time is now that we have to know 
that the ark of safety is coming. I need six people. Why are you laughing at me? I'm building. I know that's come on here. Why are you laughing at me? I'm, I got the ark coming on. I'm telling everybody, come on, board. Get on the ark. Get on that. Come on, I need everybody. Get on the ark. Get on the ark. Sit on down. Sit on down. Oh, too late. Too late. Oh, we got one more seat left. We got one more seat. Go ahead, Kane. Come on. Because it's about to rain. They was looking at Noah crazy. They were saying, no, uh, they was like, uh, what is you doing? What is you doing? I'm, you like, hey, Noah, Noah might come discourage me a little bit, but he was like, look at this here. I'm about to build this. Okay, go on this, this. Okay, look at this. I'm about to get this together. Okay, you said two. Okay, two. Two animals of each, okay? Okay, a uh, male and female each. Okay, come on, come on. Come on, little birdie. Come on, little horse. Come on, come on, cow, pigs. Get in here. Come on, come on. Come on, get in the get on. Come on, get on the up. Get on the up. Get on the up because this is about to rain. It's about to rain. Okay, okay. It's about to rain. I need one more volunteer. I need one more volunteer <laughs> to come up and, and just try to run up a little bit. Run to the up. Matter of fact, I'm at, I have my invisible, invisible person. No, too late. Too late. We shut the door. The door shut. What happened was that God shut the door. He shut the door. So now you got to understand that now the, the ark is shut. <laughs> it's shut. It's raining. 40 days, 40 nights. Rain. Pouring down. And God saying that, you know what I'm saying, you better hurry to get on the boat. Get on the ark before it's too late. You don't wanna, you don't wanna be out one minute. I'm in the ark. Okay, let me. It's I'm going outside today. You gonna make it? I'm in. I'm out. I'm in. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> what the? Is that what? What was going on? Oh no! No no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm playing church. I know. I'm over here. No, no, no. I know. I know. But look, please, please. No, no. I don't know what this. The word of God didn't say that it was a window. It was a window in the ark. So if it was a window in the ark, I bet you know it was like this. Looking like it's closed. It's closed. It's closed. I'm just imagining. <laughs> imagine there in the, uh, the, the ark. But just like the, the days of Noah. So it, it, it will. We stepping in them times that is happening now. You have to understand that in these times, because God has chosen you, God has spotted you out. Because you are the vessel that God wants to use you to be the light that you have on the inside of you. So what is they laughing at your, your art? You halfway done. You was halfway done. They looking at it. They sit back. They over here. They got their little, got their little, you know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, they were drinking and stuff. They like, ha, <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> oh my God, what you think that's gonna do? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think you, you, you what? What you think it's gonna be? A boat? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we gonna see. The people that's laughing right now at what God is doing in your life, know that. It's, it's, it's not going to be for too long. Because at the end of the day, when you are God's vessel, I'm talking to all the chosen vessels in the house, because you're God's vessel, you know, he, he, he going to allow the people to laugh at you. But, you know what I'm saying, but he's not going to allow you to quit. He ain't going to allow you to give up. What if Noah would have gave up on that heart? What if you would have gave up on building because you weren't about what other people are saying? So you gonna stop building because you weren't about what other folks are saying? Come on, you gonna you, you, you gonna stop? You gonna stop? You know building? You don't know say what well, God gave? He gave you the blueprint. The other day we was on Clubhouse and, and Pastor Ernestine was online and and um, I was talking about Noah's Ark on there and then I was with Elder Jesus who's out there doing construction. You know what I mean? I, you know, I was just like, Lord, at first, you can tell I was, you know, really desperate for some work or something. Because I was like, oh, Lord, I'm out here, you know, construction, my thing, I don't, I don't do it. 
I don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my gift, you know. But I'll be honest with you. We was out there, we was talking on the club all every day. He said, well, we got to get to the resources. That's what Elder said. I said, hmm, to the resources, and I add on to it. I said, well, you know, the resources, we got, you know, because he said we gotta go to the source to get the resources. But I said, hmm, we have to go to the source to get the resources, and, and, and so we can be able to get the vision or the blueprint on how it's gonna be. You know, write the vision, making it plain. Come on. Because when you write the vision, making it plain, you might not see it right then and there. But it, but you know what I'm saying, you continue to keep building and you continue to keep on going, you know, you're gonna know that <laughs> at the end of the day, it's, it's gonna be a success. It was a success with Noah, you know. And after Noah did all of that, I bet you, I, I don't know, I don't know was Noah and his wives and his sons, and <laughs> I don't know how they was living up in there. They probably was just, you know, at peace. They like, shoot, at least we ain't out there. They hear yelling and screaming, help, 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 help me, I'm out here trying to help. I'm out here, I'm, I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. Open the heart, open up the door. He said, help me. But some of us, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, stick with the blueprint. Come on. Come on. Stick with the blueprint. Stick with the blueprint. I'm gonna keep saying it because I need to be stuck in your spirit. Because you gotta understand where God is taking you, you got to know that you have to stick with the blueprint. Stick with the plan. God has, He's given you plan, even though you don't understand. You might say, oh, I don't even understand this. This thing foolish. You might look at it as crazy. You might, oh, how is that possible? But God said, oh, ye little faith. Oh, so you got a little faith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, that's one thing I love about, love about Noah. Faith been out through the whole Bible. Because Noah, I think, I guarantee Noah had faith. He like, sure, I'm trusting in whatever God said right here. I'm going to build it. I'm going to build it. Okay, cubits right here. I ain't good at math, but I, you know what I'm saying? I try to, I try to do a demonstration of a, of a arc right here. I, I, know it, I know it's bigger than that. But <laughs> I'm like, oh no, that's way bigger. <laughs> but because God had his covenant with Noah, everybody that's around him didn't die. Everybody around him didn't suffer because, you know, because if you see that his wife got on board, I bet his wife, his wife put on food, she's like, I'm getting on that too. I'm going with my husband. Where's she going? Where he going? I'm going. And the kids follow too. You know what I'm saying? Come on, leaders. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to walk on an arc sometimes or get or, or walk into a situation in your life that you have to make a, a decision. Come on. You don't know if it's gonna go good or bad, but you just trust God. Come on. Just like the song uh, you know by Chris Brown of uh, Trust in God, you know, he will never fail. I'm talking about I'm talking about the white Chris Brown. I'm not talking about the light scale one. Yeah, <laughs> The Bible with elevation worship. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody said, cover yourself. Cover yourself. Come on. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Gotta cover yourself. You know, you got <laughs> Look them up. Look them up. Look them up. Amen. Look them up. You would never he would never fail. He sang that song. He would never fail. <laughs> Amen. 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 But amen. Anybody that has the blueprint, well, this is what I got right here on my last notes right here. It says, get on the ark because it is your time to sound the law. Because the comforter is coming. He's coming. He said, he'll come, in, he'll come like a twinkle of an eye. You don't even know it. We could be sitting right here in the service. Poof, go. What the? You see everybody calls. What the? Where are you going? What, what, what happened to him? He came. Nowadays, you know what I'm saying, the ark of safety is known who Jesus Christ is yes. as the Lord and Savior. Is you washed by the blood? You know what I'm saying? Or as you dibble and dabble, one minute you on the ark. Oh, it's good. It's good. Oh, it's good. Oh, get right here. Get right here. Get right here. Get right here. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot my uh my ex-wife. I think I'm get her. How you doing, baby? How you doing? Okay, okay, I gotta leave. I gotta leave you know. I'm saying, sanctified. 
Feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, glory be to God. Glory be to God. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta, no, I gotta go to the strip club. Oh! All right. Yes, glory be to God. Huh? Shanta. I'm delivering you. I'm delivering you. Hold on, wait a minute. I gotta, I forgot something. I forgot I gotta go, I forgot I gotta go beat somebody up real quick on nine miles, so let me go here real quick. Boom! 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 Alright, I'm back, I'm back again, I'm back again, y'all. How y'all doing, y'all? Yeah, we have a good time. Holy Ghost party. Wait a minute. I gotta go back. I gotta go back out there. I forgot my weed and I got my alcohol out there. Let me go get it real quick. I'm gonna get it real quick. We get it real quick, yeah. Oh wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't, I can't go, I can't go over there by the saints right now because you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm a pastor, uh, I'm a bishop right now. You know, I, uh, yeah, I gotta give it back to you because I don't want to know. I smell like smoke. Cutie, you smell like smoke. Uh, 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 uh glory be to Jesus. Let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. Glory be to God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I gotta go back out here. I gotta go cut somebody out real quick. This fool owe me my five dollars. Blink, 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 blink. I'm back. Jesus. Jesus. But you don't even know. Your time is valuable. You don't understand that your, your time is running out. You don't understand. You got to get to know who Jesus Christ is. Ask your Lord and Savior. If God come back, do he see his blood on your life? Do you see his cell on him? Do you, do you see the God? Is, your, is his God head on your head? Yeah. Is his step of approval on your, on, on your head? Lord, have mercy. Do you, do you, and, and, and two, the times we step in it too, if, if, if God, if God's spirit is on you, on your life, if God's, uh, you know, step is on your head, you know what I'm saying, then why are you saying, oh, it's okay? I'm gonna go out here and go get this mark real quick because I need to go get some lunch meat. I gotta go buy, I, gotta, I love to eat. So let me get this mark. Oh, chip me in. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna go worship God. How are you gonna go into the house of God and you already got the devil step on you? But this is the time we step liberty. It's okay for me to, 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 to be. Preaching behind the pulpit, and you know what I'm saying. And I have a sweetheart on the side. It's okay to be behind the pulpit. I just got done cussing my mama, my daddy, our granny, grandpa, wife, husband, son, everybody. I just gotta cuss everybody out. But glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus, all day long. I'm over here. I'm, I'm worshiping God and I'm reading the word of God here and I'm over here and you know what I'm saying and you know I'm pointing everybody to point fingers. You go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead, hell, hell, hell. But then you live in a double lifestyle. You got, you know what I'm saying? You live in a double life. Can I, can I go? Can I go? Can I go deeper? A DL lifestyle. Come on. You live in that, you live in the lifestyle, but then you go over here and you're pointing. Why are you playing the lottery? Why are you over here, over here uh, cussing? Why are you doing this? But you're, but you sin it too. And you sin it on the regular. But when somebody comes for you, it's a, oh, don't. Right. Can you see me? You can't see me. stepping into. But for the leaders that's living a holy lifestyle, and for those that's in the body of Christ that's living a holy lifestyle, that's trying to build an ark of Jesus, you have to stay proud and keep on building Christ on this earth. God was getting on me about street preaching too, Pastor Kevin, I'm telling you. I was having dreams of street preaching. I woke up, I fell off the bed. I said, oh, shoot, that was a dream. Okay, I'm dreaming. 
I had, a, I had a dream and I was out there, I was a street preaching and everything, and, and then it was uh it was like Andre and then it was Perez, it was uh Elder Jenkins and Avenge Kai and uh Pops Kim and, and it was Copas was all out there and Copas was getting down and I was over there, you know, I was I was doing something, I was just <laughs> it's like I was so excited. But then I woke up and I fell out the bed and I was like, oh man. I gotta get that. I gotta start street preaching. Right? There's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? You should never put God behind the burden. But this is the time where we need to be out ministering the word of God. And, and because you don't understand, so many people out here, so many souls that's out here that's 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 dying spiritually, physically. They might be living financially, but for how long? Because if you don't have God, how can it stand? Because the devil can bless you too. But the, the difference between God's blessing and the devil's blessing, come on, Pascal. It lives on. The blessings keeps going. And it, and it goes from this genealogy line, that genealogy line, that genealogy line. So you never break the generational curse. We have to break it in this time. That means we have to we have to be the, the ones that's that's out of the norm to be the ones to say, look, that's not right. Go to this church service. This is this is not okay. In love and say, okay, now God understands. But are you the one that's building God's ark? Is you the one that's telling everybody to get on the ark? Before it's too late. Before the door closes. Because you have to understand, if you don't, if you don't get yourself in order to all the lukewarms, if you don't get yourself together and choose this day who you're gonna serve. You don't want to be the one to stand behind, stand before God. For oh God, I, I you know, I I, I, I I talk this, talk that, I, you know what I'm saying? I, I went over here, went over there, and I did all of this, but depart from me. You work as a I don't know you. I don't know you at all. But God has found grace in He saw He saw the grace in you, and you have found grace in God's eyes. So you have to be the one to say, come on on the ark. Get on the ark. It's getting too late. It's getting too late. Everybody screaming and banging on the door. How y'all doing? How, how, how everybody doing? How, we having a good time up here. Come on! Come on! Let me in! Let me in, please! We have a good time. We get caught up in the rapture. We get caught up in the spirit of God. Are you the one that God sees and say, this is my son right here. Come on. Come on aboard. Come to the kingdom of heaven. Get on. Come on, pastors. Come on, bishop. Come on, uh, evangelists. Come on, you know, those that, that's lukewarm, backsliders. You know, it's time for you to get on the ark of safety now before it's too late. Because time ain't your friend. Time ain't wait on you. Time gonna keep on going. Time gonna keep on winding. You know, continue to say, you know what, I forgive you. Continue to say, look, I love you. I care for you. Because you want to you wanna know that your time is valuable. Your time is valuable. And you have to make sure you get, get everything together. Get on the ark. 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 Because it's closing. It's closing. Jesus said, get on the ark before it's too late. Get on the ark. You need to get on here now before the door shut. Because when this door shut, it's not going to open up. Don't find yourself being shut in hell. 
But find yourself being shut in the ark of safety in Christ and say, God, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for washing me. I thank you for baptizing me in the Holy Ghost. I thank you for having I have a personal relationship with you. I know I've fallen off sometimes, but God, I thank you that I'm building a relationship with you once again because I'm getting on the ark of safety. I thank you. Get on the ark. Time is running off. Time is running low. Time is running. You're running out of time. Get on it. Get on it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Somebody said, get on the boat. Oh, you have a stupid. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Come on. Get on the ark for the covenant of Jesus Christ. Y'all, y'all don't want to, you know, I'm telling you, you don't want to get off that boat. He said, I love what you was telling me in that illustration. He said, I got to get off the boat. Hold on, I'm going to go smoke some weed. Come on. You got off the boat trying to go smoke the weed. Got, got off the boat trying to go to the club. Okay, got off the boat. He said, I was at the honey house. What made it so bad? I, I said, something off. I said, can you talk to me? And so all of a sudden, I started talking to him about how to win. Out the blue. And he was like, well, that conviction started getting real strong, man. He like, ooh, Mama Kim knows something. She, she hit on me. I'm like, mm hmm talk to me. And I said, huh. So I guess that's worth you going to hell for. What profits a man or a woman to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? And I start getting on. I said, go back and repent. Go back and get this together. You ain't desperate no more. I said, you need money, amen. Go give me my purse. Let me give you $70. Ain't that what I said to you? I said, go get my purse. You need some money, that bad. I'll give you, if it's my last, I'm going to give you my last since it's that bad. Because what we ain't going to do is play church. We're not going to be preaching people get to heaven and we go to heal ourselves. But we gonna live what we preach. And that's what happens if you fall down and you get back up. And the Bible tells us to restore our brothers and sisters back to their place. Then God said, when he repented, then God said, let him preach. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until Jonah repented. For being disobedient, God told him to go preach to them. He said, I preach. He didn't got attitude preaching. Did he preach? He did exactly what God wanted him to do. <laughs> this is a kid friendly church. Come on, stand to your feet, everybody. Hallelujah. This is awesome call. If you're watching us by Facebook, we want to say we love you with the love of God. We're getting ready to do altar call in the church. So we will see you next Sunday, God's willing. God bless you. Hope you have uh, some time to come and fellowship with us. We do have our baptism coming up um, very soon. What is the date on the baptism? November what? November 13th. We will be Christian all children and whoever that wants to be baptized, you can be baptized. Going down in Jesus' name. The 12th, I'm sorry. Here at 1 o'clock. All the children should be in white, and all the adults that's getting uh, baptized should be in white. We need some volunteers to buy 10 white towels, 10 white beach towels, white. We are going down in Jesus' name. We have a baptism service. We will also be taking communion on that day. So we ask some of all the church officials to be in their roles, and we will set everything up for communion on that day as well. Also, we will be having Americans uh, singles retreat getaway um, that also that, that same weekend and so look out for the flyers that will be posted tomorrow um, the flyers shall be posted tomorrow um, I said the flyer shall be posted tomorrow on Facebook amen 
I do not want it to go past tomorrow and that, that flyer is not on there. So you have to take the rest of the day and put that, that flyer so it could be going on Facebook. There's people waiting on the dates, so I need it. I don't care if it ain't nothing but a, 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 a save date, but I still want it in excellence. But get something together, don't procrastinate on it no longer. We have that uh, ooh, beautiful music. We have that uh, baptism service coming up November the 12th. And so we will be here at Trinity House of Prayer, also with communion on that Sunday. Um, also, we ask that you pray for me and co pastor. Come here, co pastor. Hallelujah. Double Dip will be in Cuba this coming week. We want everyone to be keeping us up in prayer. We leave Friday. Amen. Um, Clubhouse should be going. I don't want you to skip. Ain't nothing, everything open. Everything should be going. I'm overseas. You should be praying. As y'all see, there is in war in other countries and stuff. Ain't stopping nothing stopping for where we at. But I need y'all to cover us in prayer. Amen. Every day, every second, until you hear my voice say, I'm on your 90 soul. <laughs> you should be praying and interceding for your leaders. Um, make sure you are keeping me and co-pastor up in prayer. Look at what God did in great and mighty days. I need you to stay on the ark. Stay on the boat. Continue to go forward on the boat. Don't get weary and well doing being on the boat. What else? Lift your hands. Anybody need prayer? Oh, Facebook, we love you. Till next time, God bless you.